Last thing before we go tonight, it was a short-lived news story that followed the now standard outrage cycle, zero to 60 in 60 seconds. But unless you watch Fox, unless you follow right-wing media, you may not have seen it. It was trumpeted on the front page of the Trump-friendly Murdoch-owned New York Post. Clunky headline writing, but the gist of it was immigrant kids at the border were being given copies of the vice president's book seemingly against their will. The implication was, haven't these kids suffered enough? Well, cue the outrage, scandal. A waste of our taxpayer dollars, they said. Don't take my word for it. Here's Sean Spicer. It's not like he's going to lie. He writes, quote, after four years of the press reporting on every potential theoretical conflict between Trump and his family, barely a peep is made when the vice president's book is in a welcome gift bag for migrants entering the country and the White House refuses to answer how or why it happened. Arkansas Republican Senator, faithful Trumper Tom Cotton piped in. Now they're forcing taxpayers to buy Kamala Harris's book and give to those illegal immigrants. Then it was Madison Cawthorn, the freshman Trumper congressman from North Carolina, who wrote, so the vice president will send her books to the migrants flooding our southern border, but won't send herself. You can't make this stuff up. Well, actually, Madison Cawthorn, you can make this stuff up. The New York Post made it up. We know this because the woman who wrote the story resigned today, and she said this on the way out, quote, the Kamala Harris story, an incorrect story I was ordered to write and which I failed to push back hard enough against was my breaking point. Subsequent reports say one copy of the Kamala Harris book, the edition for younger readers, was dropped off at a Long Beach, California donation center. That was enough for the media properties of Rupert Murdoch to make up and spread a false story as they did so doggedly again this weekend, alleging Biden was going to somehow take away our hamburgers. It's enough to make you think Trump knew what he was previewing back when he became the first American president to call news fake news. You see, that covers any manner of sins. Oh, and there's a writer opening at the New York Post. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.